Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to solve for maximum height in physics. So this question implies a problem that is commonly taught in introductory mechanics, specifically the first part of introductory mechanics, where one studies kinematics. In this case, we're interested in determining the maximum height of a parabolic trajectory of some mass that is tossed into the air with some initial velocity vector, v. And we're interested in determining an expression for this height, h. So because the x and y directions in this two-dimensional problem are orthogonal, we can separate the equations of motion in kinematics for these two different uh, dimensions uh, and do the mathematics separately. Of course, in this case, since we're interested in height, which is a parameter in just one direction, the y, we're not going to really concern ourselves with the x direction. So we start with the kinematic equation for velocity, in this case, just considering the y direction. We have vy, comma, final is equal to vy, comma, initial plus acceleration times time. So the acceleration in this case, there's just one source of acceleration, one force that is acting upon the particle as it's traversing its trajectory in the air. And because I've chosen the y direction to go up and be positive, I'm going to remain consistent. It doesn't matter as long as one remains consistent throughout the calculation and the derivation. Because of that, I have the gravitational acceleration equal to negative g, where g is approximately 9.81 meters per second squared. Therefore, I can substitute a for negative g. And I don't know the time it takes to go from the initial point to the final point where I have my maximum height. But I do know that at the maximum height, the velocity in the y direction is equal to zero. So I can have one equation and one unknown here. I have vy initial is equal to g times t. If I move the negative gt term to the other side, therefore, the total time it takes to go from the origin, the initial point, to the final maximum height is equal to the initial velocity in the y direction divided by g. Now the second part of this problem involves using the position equation, but I'm going to use the position equation for y since I'm only interested in the vertical direction. So I have y final is equal to y initial plus vy initial t plus one half a t squared. My initial height, of course, is zero because I'm doing everything off of the relative to the origin. My final y value is my height, so I can rewrite this as h is equal to vy i. And then for time, I can substitute this expression in each of these values for t. So I have vy comma i times vyi divided g. And then I have minus, because the a, again, is minus g. I have minus g over 2 times vyi over g squared, because this time is squared. So I see that my final height is going to be vyi squared over g minus, now because the g is squared in the denominator, one of those g's cancels out with one of these g's. So this becomes vyi squared divided 2g. And I see that one value of vyi squared over g minus one half of that value simply gets me the result, the maximum height being equal to the initial 
velocity in the y direction squared divided by 2g. And this is how you would calculate the maximum height. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to solve for maximum height in physics.